hi guys welcome back again today to another interesting tutorial so today i'm going to be showing us how to make a cis girl skirt which is also known as a cis piece skirt okay so i'm going to be showing us a slash and spread method which i always use so we're going to be using the method in one of my handouts okay like i said in my previous video if you want one of these handouts you can send me a message on whatsapp on 08057074020 okay so we are going to be using a slash and spread method to achieve our cis girl skirt which is also known as cis piece skirt so the first thing you want to do as illustrated here in our hand that you need to have a full front skirt ready okay you need to have a full front skirt ready drafted to your desired length okay that's exactly what i've done here okay so this is the fabric that we're going to be using for this tutorial so after the pattern i'm going to put us through on the joining part so the first thing you want to do is to have your full front basic sketch ready as you can see here i have my mid line okay this is my center front line this is known as my center front line if you don't know how to achieve a full front basic sketch you can Leave a message in the comment section. I will be able to explain how you are going to achieve a full front basic skirt. Okay, so now my skirt is drafted to my desired length, and I have my dart here as well. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is to bring my flare line. Okay, where I want my flare to start from, that is exactly the line I'm going to be marking out here. Okay, so I'm going to be using 17 inches for my flare line. So I'm from the top of my skirt, I'm going to mark 17 inches down. That automatically becomes my flare line, okay? So you need to know your flare line. You can either measure your knee and take away 2 inches, okay? You measure your knee and you take away 2 inches for you to be able to find out your flare line. That's how to get your flare line. So now that I have my flare line, I'm going to write it there, flare line, okay? So this is where my flare is going to be starting from. So the next line that you need to get from here now is going to be your, you are going to divide, the next thing that you are going to do after getting your flare line, you are going to connect your dart all the way to the end of your skirt. So I'll do the same for the other side of the dart. Okay, so this black marker pen is all the alterations that we are doing on this pattern. So the first thing we did, like I said, is to bring out your flare line, which is this black marker pen around there. Then the next thing is to connect your dart all the way to the end. Sharing your skirt is not like sharing your skirt into three equal sections. So this is one, and this is two, and this is three. Okay, so the next thing you are going to do now is to cut away on the flare line. So I'm going to take my paper scissors. Be sure to have a paper scissors. I'm going to take my paper scissors and I'll cut away on my flare line like so. So I'm going to cut away on my flare line so I can be able to slash and spread. Good. So now I'll keep this upper skirt aside. I'll bring this part. So you're going to need to slash this and spread it to how wide you actually want it to be. There's no standard measurement for spreading this particular lower skirt. There's no standard measurement. All you need to do is to spread it as much as you would like it. Depends on how dramatic and how wide you want your skirt to be. Okay, that's exactly what you're going to do. So remember, the first thing you want to do now, you know that after separating now on the flare line, you already know that we have three skirts. We have shared our skirt into three equal sections, like so, okay? This black line. So you are going to now open them up on those equal sections. Remember, I labeled them one, two, and three, okay? So I'm going to cut on the first one. And don't forget, we are making a cis panel skirt, okay? So I'm going to cut one. That's one skirt. So I'll come over here. I'll also do my labeling here, one okay two and three so then you are going to cut so 
So this is going with this, and you cut this one as well. Okay, so now you have three upper skirts, and you are also going to have three bottom skirts. So now this is what I have at the end of the day, okay? So I'm going to now be slashing and spreading this bottom part of my skirt, okay? So this is what we have at the end of the day. So the first thing you want to do now is to start slashing and spreading. So we are not going to be slashing the upper part. We are only slashing the lower skirt part, okay? Remember, we cut away on our flare line. So I'm going to start slashing this part. It, I'm going to put in another line here just to make my flare to make it wider okay so i'm going to share this part into two equal sessions i'll do the same thing for the other side into two equal sessions so i'm just going to open up more lines here and like i said before don't forget to label your up the up okay and the bottom because we are going to start slashing from the bottom okay remember we are trying to slash and spread to create a flare on our skirt so i'm just going to illustrate one first then we can i will do the other two off camera then i can show you guys so the first one i'm going to be slashing is the one okay so remember we have them like so and like so after separating this is what we have so i'm going to be slashing from the bottom i'm going to start with the one i'm going to slash that up now and i'll spread it okay So you slash, slash, slash as if you want to cut it off, okay? Okay, so I move those aside. I also move those ones aside. So I'm going to be dealing with this center piece on camera, okay? So I'm going to bring in another paper, then I'll put it in between this place. So remember, like I said, you are going to spread as much as you like it. There is no standard measurement for your spread. Depends on how dramatic you want your fabric. To be. Depends on how dramatic you want your skirt to look, okay? So I'm going to bring in another paper here. So I want mine to be as wide as, let's see, because I really want it to be a little bit dramatic because this actually, this skirt is actually for a client and they are using it for an, for an event, okay? So I'm going to, I'm going to spread mine as wide as 20 inches, okay? So I'm using 20 inches to spread mine. So it's totally your choice. Whatever you like, you can use, okay? So I'm going to take this down. So guys, so after spreading, remember like I said, I'm spreading my pattern. I want it to be as wide as 20 inches, okay? So I'm just going to use my marker pen to join that up together like so. Good. So after spreading, I'm going to cut and attach it to the upper piece, okay? 
so then I'll take my pen I'll take my scissors rather I'm going to cut through this line okay so I'll keep this aside and I'll cut 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 So I'm going to join them together to become one full piece, okay? So I make sure not to lap them, okay? You are not going to lap them. If you lap it, you are going to shorten the length of your skirt. So I'm just going to place them both slightly together like so. Can you see? I'll place them both slightly together. Then I'll use my cell tape to join them together. what I have at the end of the day guys so my first my pattern one is ready so I'm going to repeat the same process for all of the other parts of the skirt okay so I'm going to repeat the same process for two pattern two okay I'm going to repeat the same process for pattern two then I'll also repeat the same process for pattern three so that automatically my three front skirt will be ready so I'm going to do those off camera then I'll show us what it looks like and I'm going to explain further to us what to do after achieving your skirt like so okay guys hi guys so all of my patterns I've spread them remember I said I was going to spread the other ones off camera okay so here's my piece one piece two and piece three okay they are all spread like I said I spread them by 20 20 inches okay I'm also going to repeat the same step for the back of my skirt 20 inches each because I want my skirt to be as full as a hundred and twenty inches So now that this one is 20 inches wide 20 inches wide 20 inches wide That's 60 the back is also going to be 60 so it's going to be as full as 120 So like I said before it all depends on how dramatic you want your skirt to look okay So now the next thing I'm going to be doing here is to take away my dart. You can see we still have our dart over there Okay, so I'm going to be cutting off my dart like so and don't forget to do this to give your skirt a perfect fitting shape okay because the dart is actually made to shape in our our garment so you need to take that off okay so i'm just going to take off all of my dart good so i've taken away all of my dart and the last thing that i've got okay to explain something to us here my aunt that actually explains to us that the same method you do for your front, you should be able to do the same method for your back. So, but I'm not going to bore us with the basket. That might be very, very, very tedious for us to do. But I'm going to show us when I'm cutting on the fabric, how I used to manipulate that. I only work with the front fabric because you know the difference between the back and the front is just the center piece, which is the zip allowance. So this is the middle one, which is the two. This is the one I'm going to be cutting into two to achieve the back. So this full front is just okay for you to cut your back and front. So I'm going to use this one to cut times two i'll also use this one to cut times two i'll use this one to cut times one and i'm going to share it into two to achieve the center back which i'm going to be putting in the zip allowance okay so the next thing i'm going to do now if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section i'll be glad to answer every of your questions okay i'll be glad to answer every of your questions so now that our pattern is ready and is set the next thing to do is to go back to your fabric and cut this out and when i'm cutting i already added a, a length to my skirt okay uh, but i don't have any allowance at the top so i'm going to be adding a 0.5 inch allowance at the top i already have allowance at the end it's going to be a lace so there's a border at the bottom of my lace already so i don't need to add any allowance at the end of my skirt so i'm going to add a 0.5 inch allowance all around this part okay 0.5 my skirt already have 
a, seam, a side seam allowance of 1.5 inches, okay? I added 1.5 inches to my hip when I was drafting my skirt and also to my waist, I have a 1.5 inches. So the 0 0.5 inch I'm going to be adding when I'm cutting my fabric is to join all of these pieces back together, okay? So I hope you guys understand what we have done so far. So the next thing that we're going to do now is to move over to cut on our fabric. Hi guys, so I've arranged all of my pattern in the way that I'm going to be cutting them out just to save fabric, okay? So remember, like I said, I'm going to be cutting them times two. My fabric is on fold here, guys. My fabric is on fold so that I can cut out the back and the front together at the same time. So the only one that is going to be different is going to be this, the center piece, okay? The center one, which, which is the two. So I'm going to be cutting down on one for the front and I'm going to slash it equally so I can cut for the back, okay? For this, to add my... center piece I'm going to be cutting one of it so I'm going to place my fabric out just one okay So now I'm going to be altering this center piece to cut out the back one, okay? So I'll take my ruler. So I'm going to alter this one so I can cut out the center back piece. So I'm just going to take this midline all the way down, okay? So I'll cut through that line so that I can insert my zip allowance. That's the only reason I'm doing that. So I'll take my paper scissors. I'll cut through this midline, okay? Okay, so now it's now separated into two so i cannot cut this one add my zip allowance here cut this one then add my zip allowance here okay so that's just the best way to do it instead of drafting a full back skirt again and start spreading okay so this is how i always walk around my six going skirt pattern i'll just separate the center piece okay into two equal half and i'll insert my zip allowance in the middle so I can cut out the back now. So guys, now I'm going to be cutting out the back piece. Remember, I divided them into two equal sections, okay? So I'm just going to be using one of them. I don't need to use the two. I'm going to be using one of it to cut out the pattern because I, I placed my fabric on fold already okay right side facing so i'm just going to place this here then i'm going to add my zip allowance around here so i already have my zip allowance here so i can just easily cut it out now okay so here's my zip allowance So then I'll pick up my fabric scissors and I'll cut, cut, cut. open for my zip so I'm going to be slitting this part open for my zip okay so 
perfect. So now I can take out my pins and take out my pattern and my center back piece is ready, okay guys? So now I have my center back piece like so. Can you see? So this is my center back piece now. Can you see it? So I have my center back piece. I have my side back piece. So here's my side back piece. Okay. So all of my patterns are ready, guys. So you can see this was really, really easy to achieve, okay? So I have all of my patterns and here is my front piece. I also have three pieces for my front. The front, okay? One, two, three guys. So I have total of six pieces. One, two, three, four, five. Then remember the back is cut in two, making it six guys. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video as much as I did when I was making this video. So if you have any more questions, you can write a message down in the comment section and I'll be glad to answer every of your questions. Probably I might be able to film the sewing tutorial, guys. So I'll see you guys in my next video. And don't forget to like, to share, and to subscribe to this channel, guys. Bye!